nice little change in color here. Oh yeah. So, we starting right here with our pink lemonade, frozen pink lemonade. This one is good. It's a really popular one. Cause it's so delicioso, okay? Coming out. Come on, come on. Squeeze it. There we go. Fine. So now we come behind that with some raspberry vodka. Yeah. Give this a nice little stir. Use a whisk. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna whisk it. I need a long whisk to get in there. Okay. So guys, now we come with the good stuff, okay? Andre, the brand of champions. Okay, this is Michael Jordan drinks. All right. You scared of, huh? Huh? <laughs> Get the champagne in. We're gonna need another bottle. Where's the stash? What do we got down here? Oh yeah, homeboy. It's a good year right here. <laughs> I won't rip my gloves. All right. Yes, sir. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Guys, look at the color on that. Okay? Now check this out. We can drop in a couple of these. And now we hit it with some lemon lime soda. what happens the colors can come from the raspberries we can get a nice little change in color here oh yeah beautiful I love the pink I love the pink and there you have it homeboy champagne pink lemonade cheers baby okay it's good yeah this one this one we've fun. made this one a few times and, and it's good it's good all right drink responsibly don't drink and drive get some champagne in Guys, food processor. You can take half a bag of fresh cheese. Right? Oh yeah. But you could use regular, whatever you want. Whatever you want, whatever you could find. Because sometimes extra hot's are hard to find. I like you know? these because they're red. Really? Mm -hmm. Such a natural red too, hey. The kind of red you see in nature. Cornmeal. Come behind my cornmeal with some flour. I got three things in here. I got bacon powder, okay? I got uh, pepper, and I got salt. Got some sugar in this bad boy, all right? And now I can just mix this together. So guys, now we come with the milk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Coming behind this with my egg now. What, shouldn't drop it like that? Huh? Don't tell me to drop my eggs. I drop my egg how I want to drop my egg, Mr. Ramsey. Martha Stewart, you have a problem with the way I just dropped that egg? Now guys, two more things you've added here. You want a little bit of red food coloring, okay? To help, to help with the color. And then you want a little bit of this Cheetos dust, okay? Street value. 15 grand. Not too much. Because you rolled it in the Cheetos. Okay, guys. This got a unique dipping style. So you need to get it in a tall glass. Okay? Don't overfill it because you need room for it to rise. But like this. 
and I need to dry these off because hot dogs are pretty wet for some reason, okay? And as I dry, I can skew at the same time. These are really big. And a chopstick. Why are we skewing with chopsticks? Because these are kind of heavy. What kind of ratchet chill this is, man. Okay, guys, so you grab your hot dog and you go in, all right? Get it all around. Drain off that excess. Do a nice little twirl. Twirl away! And now you come over here. And you get rolled into our, our little dip, you see? And now you come in here. Beautiful. Bang! And there you have it! Flaming Hot Cheetos Corn Dogs. Okay? So I'm just picking this one up right here. Look at, look at the color on this man. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, it's dumb, but it's delicious. As always, stay delicious. You sure you shouldn't bite it like this? Because I think this will be like cuter. Like, watch me on a date. Hey, here you go. Back in my dating days. Hannah. Damn, that's a real alien swamp. Everclear, 75.5% alcohol. This is a potent base. Now this recipe came to us from the great state of West Virginia. So it's West Virginia swamp water, okay? Now while that's happening, come on Sky, hold your aim steady, son. We gotta add some gin into this mix. Man, if I had three hands, this would be so cool. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of <laughs> That's almost the bottle. So we got our gin in, right? Now we come in with our Jack Sparrow. Our rum. Hey, Jack Sparrow. Do you have any more Pirates of the Caribbean coming? So guys, basically, you want a third of this container full with booze, okay? A third of it. I think we could. Most of that is Everclear, so may God have mercy on your soul. Now we come in behind this with our pineapple juice. Now you have to be careful how your potter says doesn't have a spout, but I can create a spout by just squeezing. And now I have a kind of a spout. And I'm going to go all in. Beautiful. Now I follow that with a little bit of fresh orange juice. I don't want it to go over, you know? Okay, now, the guys who sent us this said that you know, swamp water is supposed to be green. So now we can add in some food coloring. Let's hope this works. Okay. So blue and yellow make green. So we can just add in some blue. Watch it on your fingers. I hate that, man. You know, you go out <laughs> on a date, you know, your finger's green. <laughs> you know? And then she looking at you like you're picking your nose or something. Anyway, okay, back in my dating days. Kind of, damn, that's a real alien swamp. The guy who sent us this recipe said, hey, well, you might need, you need blue food coloring and green food coloring, son. Yellow and blue makes green, okay? I study science. I'm a physicist. Is that physics? Or chemistry? Biology? I don't know. I'm a scientist, okay? Don't ask me which discipline. Anyway! There you have it, man! West Virginia Swamp Water Homeboy! You show up to the party with this, and you just pass around, okay? Please, no contact with the bottle. These are dangerous times, you know that, okay? Wear your mask. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. Later! If the president ever was to visit my home, this is the kind of hors d'oeuvres I would serve, okay? We got bacon, we got tater tots, we got cheese. So we grab our tater tots right there. Let me just grab some of the bag here. Now watch what I can do here, homeboy. Okay? This is gonna be mind blowing. 
I'm gonna grab me some bacon. Now I need to cut my bacon in half, okay? So right here. So there's two pieces of bacon. Just cut in half, all right? Now watch, watch what goes on here. Grab my, my, my tater tot, and I can put that there. Press it down just a little bit, okay? That's the word. Yeah, thawed tater thoughts, okay? <laughs> so now we cut a little piece of cheese. Cut it like that. Cut it like that again, okay? So now we got cheese here, homeboy. And now we can do a nice little roll. So watch this, you see a little roll there? So we got a nice little roll of cheese. Now, the problem is that cheese might roll out right once they start cooking so what i can do is wrap this bad boy again so my cheese is encased you see what i just did there huh mama you'd be so proud of me your son's so smart because the initial recipe only called for one piece of bacon and i look at this and i was like who made this they don't know what they're doing these people can't cook a lot of people are there running these cooking shows and they can't cook a lick why you lift the camera up and put it on my face? Why you look directly at the camera? Okay, guys. Let's put it down. Let's go. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, that part doesn't go in. I hope you're paying attention. Yeah. Oh yeah, some of our cheese is leaking, but I can do a little flip. Get them back in. Oh, Snapperella, look at the heat. Guys, gotta get that grease to drain off a little bit. And there you have it. Cheesy bacon tater tot bombs. Look at this one, boy. Should I just put the whole thing in? Because you got to see, see the bite, right? I want to see what comes out. Mm. What? <laughs> can you, can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, cotton candy fish bowl. Woo! Okay, ice in the glass. Blue cotton candy. Get that in there. By the way, the candy store we have to get our cotton candy from. Dude, yep. The candy's not so expensive. Come behind there with our vodka. Alright. Now some triple sec. Beautiful. And ice. And we're gonna give this a nice little blend. Look at the beautiful blue. Woo wee! So that's our blue layer. Remember now, this is blue and pink. Ice in there. So we get our pink cotton candy, stick it in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come behind it with some strawberry vodka. So, so to get a lot of the exotic candies we, we use, triple sec, we go, we go to this kind of expensive candy store. And they have a lot of cool candies. And you pay by the pound, but dude, like it's 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 not cheap. Most expensive candies I've ever seen. Beautiful pink layer, stick a straw in, beautiful, good to go.